Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Puya. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Miniconda on your Ubuntu machine. And we're going to see how to create different virtual environments and how to install Python packages on this environment. So first of all, you need to download Miniconda. As you can see, open up the main page of Miniconda. I'll put the description, I'll put the link in the video description. Under this section, like this Miniconda installer, uh, click on the Miniconda Linux 64. And as soon as you click on it, the download will start. Okay, I'm going to stop it because I, I have already downloaded one. So, yeah. The download folder should be, the download file should be like this, uh, .sh file. To install it, simply open a terminal, sh dot the name of the file and press enter to continue scroll down here it says do you accept the license and yes and uh, here you should specify the um, destination folder i suggest to follow uh, the recommendation but if you have a memory issue on your home and you want to change it it's totally okay to change this uh, folder so hit enter and as you can see it says the files are going to be installed on home AI Miniconda 3 and, and it says by running Conda in it are you agree with that or not what does it mean it means do you want to install uh, do you want to Conda to be initialized in each and every terminal that you open which in my case yes because most of the time I'm doing Python I'm coding on Python so uh, and whenever whenever I'm opening a terminal, most times I want to open a Jupyter notebook or I just want to work with IPython or whatever. So I always want the conda to be initialized and I want to be able to have access to all my environments on any terminal. So I pass in yes, uh, although the recommendation says no. So. Let's see where it is installed or not. Let me minimize this and open new terminal. Okay, as you can see, it says base at the beginning of command line, which means that the command is installed and the environment which is initialized right now is base. So what does it mean? Let's check how many environments do we have on Honda. At first, after the installation, there is only one environment which is called base, and this is the default environment that Conda installs. So, uh, as you have guessed by now, we can create as much as environment that you want. Why do we want to create different environments? Each environment is like a capsule. It encapsulates all the libraries inside of it. For example, consider that you want to develop a Django project and you want to develop, for example, uh, TensorFlow 1 uh, architecture and at the same time you want to develop a TensorFlow 2 architectures. As you can, as you know, you cannot have two different version, versions of the same library inside of an environment. So we are we create different environments to have to be able to have different uh, uh, libraries installed in them, which they might have conflicts with each other if they were installed in the same uh, environment. So the environments have uh, have a lot of benefits, which uh, we are going to see throughout our um, videos. So how to create another? virtual environment. Consider that I want to create uh, an environment for the introduction to Python uh, series that we, we have right now. Okay, now to create an environment. To create an environment, you are going to type in conda create dash n. Dash n means uh, n stands for name. Here you should uh, pass in your uh, name uh, an arbitrary name for your environment. It's uh, it is better to create informative and uh, simple and uh, small names. So whenever you want to uh, activate it, you don't have to type several characters. So 
Come now create dash n for example in true by which means I'm going to uh, install libraries of introduction to Python uh, course in this um, environment which is called intro to Py. After passing the name you should specify the Python version. Here consider we want to uh, go on with Python version 3.10 and after the Python version, you can pass in as much a third library, uh, third party libraries that you want. For example, NumPy, Matplotlib, and everything, almost everything. You can pass in here, and these libraries will be installed on into underline Py or into Py environment. In this case, I'm, I'm going to go with just NumPy uh, only. You can specify the version on the NumPy by uh, passing two equal signs make sure to put two equal signs and passing uh, the version like for example numpy version to 1.21 1.22 or whatever if you don't specify any version the latest uh, library will be in a song so let's see what happens hit enter and conda is gonna list all the libraries and packages that are needed uh, for this configuration and as you can see numpy is here pip is here python is here setup tools is here and if the list if you're content with the list just hit enter uh, hit yes or uh, or simply just hit enter because this is the predefined uh, verse and we shall wait till it finishes okay it is installed so it says to activate this environment just use condo activate in true pipe if you want to install them uh, if you want to activate the environment just condo activate pass in the name or if you want to deactivate it just pass in condo deactivate. okay let me pass it and as you can see the base has changed to intro underlie pi it says that whatever you do is going to affect intro underlie pi and whatever libraries do uh, do you want to get uh, gain access to it should be installed in this one unless it cannot uh, it cannot give you the access to other environments other than intro pi so let me open up python as you can see 3.10 as we uh, as we defined here when we were creating it 3.10 and let's see where uh, numpy is installed import numpy yes it is installed there there are no errors for example in uh, import pandas pandas is not installed so let's see what is the version of numpy okay numpy version is 1.22.3 just a quick um, uh, note here uh, whenever you're installing a library from using conda it, uh, it does not most of the time it does not install the latest version most of the time i don't say always so uh, as you can see on the pip repository these are two repositories that you can uh, download your uh, and download and install your packages from as you can see pip uh the version on this pip is 1.22.4 and if you click on the source code uh, the authors uh, of numpy has released under the releases section has released uh version 1.22.4 okay but version 1.22.3 is installed on our environment because conda um, manages wants to manage the um, libraries inside the environments that's why sometimes the, uh, the the version which is available on Kana is not the latest version and in this case the gap is low but sometimes the gap gets uh, really large for example in tensorflow uh, the uh, the version which is available on uh, pip is 2.9.1 while the version is available on Kana is 2.8 Point one, which means maybe several features are missing from this 2.8 uh, 
and uh, but in the case of numpy uh, the gap is a little or small maybe just a little bug fixing is missing from 1.22.3 which you may never occur to them uh, it, they may never occur for your case so in this case for example we want to install the latest version of numpy just simply use pip pip install uh, numpy as you can see it says requirements already satisfied 1.22.3 is satisfied we want to force it to install 1.22.4 so passing the version as well in this case we forced it and it's going to download this for uh, python version uh, 3.10 and it may take eight seconds okay it is over let's see what is the version of numpy right now numpy sorry version and the version is 1.22.4 so this is how you can install library using conda using um, or using pip just uh, search for it if you don't know how to install a library using conda there are several approaches conda install dash c conda force and so well there are several approaches for several uh operating systems for um, pip most of the time like always pip install the numpy library would work uh, the python library would work so let's see if we can get access gain access to numpy from base environment so let me deactivate interpy okay i'm on base let me clear it so we can focus on the upcoming codes. So let me open Python and 83.9 because Conda's version is base version is 3.9. Okay, I'm gonna go on uh, with import numpy. As you can see, we cannot have access import numpy, although it is installed in intro to Python, but these environments are totally separated. There is no way you can access to one library from another one. And whatever you do, uh, it affects base. If you install something, it will be affected on base. If you remove something, if you update a library, whatever you do, it's going to affect the environment, which its name is mentioned at the beginning of this command line. So let me get out and let See how many environments do we have for the last for the last one? Okay, as you can see, base into underline pi are installed, and whenever if you install uh, an environment variable, uh, it will be located in ENVs under the main root of the Miniconda so this is this was the last uh, note and that's it for today uh, guys please um, subscribe the channel like the video and share it with your friends and click on the bell notifier so that you will be noticed of my upcoming videos and uh, one more thing um, uh, maybe i record a video on windows machine it doesn't mean that you guys uh, with ubuntu cannot <laughs> use it uh, I'm going to open whenever I open CMD, you guys just open terminal and follow the tutorial. That's the only uh, difference between uh, NumPy, between NumPy, God, <laughs> between uh, Windows and Ubuntu for or series. Okay, if something uh, differs uh, completely, like how to install, I'm going to create different videos, the specific videos for Ubuntu and Windows. Whenever I don't create a, um, a video for Ubuntu or specifically for Ubuntu or specifically for Windows, it means the same ruling uh, applies here as well. Just uh, open terminal instead of uh, CMD and follow the tutorial. That's it guys. Have a great day. See you on the next video.